Another big story here at 11 o'clock. We're learning more about a disturbing case of animal cruelty we've been following for months now. A Baltimore man was arrested and charged with more than 175 counts of animal cruelty. This after officers seized more than 80 dogs from a home in Park Heights. WJZ live at 11 o'clock tonight. Caroline Forback joins us now with new information about this case. Caroline, good evening. Good evening, Rick. These charges actually stem from a search warrant that was executed back in May. Now, according to charging documents obtained by WJZ, the property manager actually called the sheriff's department to come check out the home because the tenant had stopped paying rent. And that's when they made this horrifying discovery. I can't even phantom somebody living there with that many animals in the house and the smells and things like that. Animal control officers describe an overwhelming odor of ammonia as soon as they entered this home on the 5100 block of Pembridge Avenue for a search warrant back in May, according to court documents. On top of the smell, the sound of 83 dogs desperately barking from their cages all throughout the home. You can't properly care for an animal having that many animals in the house. Wednesday, deputies with the Baltimore City Sheriff's Department arrested the tenant, Robert Conley, on 178 counts of animal abuse, citing failure to provide proper air and space for the animals in his care. Charging documents state the dogs were kept in the dark in wire cages with no solid floor to stand on or lay on. They were covered in waste, underweight, and many were sick. Neighbor Deborah Winston says she was shocked when she heard what happened. It's such a cool thing. Detectives say Conley was breeding and selling the dogs online and on social media without a proper license. Now, the dogs that were seized were all transported to Baltimore Animal Rescue and Care Center to receive medical treatment and be placed for adoption or foster. Now, as for Conley, his trial is set for September 17th. Reporting live here in Baltimore, Caroline Forback for WJZ.